You know, the great phenom Cole Caulfield of Montreal Canadiens has done a lot for the Habs this year. Every time he scores, the team either eventually wins or they have positive points on the board. <coughs> but the speculation this year, and a lot of people are talking about, because of his 19 goals in his first 32 games of the campaign, and the fact that Montreal has an open offense when he plays, he's going to score at least 40, but can he score 50? Well, let's look a little bit at history uh, of the Montreal Canadiens, the players that scored uh, 50. Now, we all know about uh, Maurice Richard. He's great uh, style around the net, and Caulfield has a lot of that. Great shot, great uh, playmaker. Boom Boom had the big shot, just like Caulfield. Uh, Steve Shutt, uh, some of them were garbage goals, and most of them were snap shots and slap shots, just like Lafleur. the big shot, just like Stefan Richer. <coughs> so every Montreal Canadian that has scored 50 goals uh, for the Habs has a connection to Cole Caulfield. But if Cole is like anybody, obviously he's like Matt Snaslin because of his size. He's around uh, Matt's height and weight. Uh, very rarely takes a penalty, not a dirty player. Although there's been some potential injuries this year, especially a recent game against Calgary, uh, he seems to be recovered and he's always in shape. Now, he had a bad beginning to his campaign last year after the glory run in the Stanley Cup final the year before, but he really came on in the second half scoring more than uh, 20 goals. Now, he's on a hot streak uh, recently and because of the, the big youth move in the Montreal, that can continue. So, it's a little bit too early to speculate, but I'm still saying uh, 19 goals in 32 games are on a big road trip. A lot's going to play out. They had a big goal against Phoenix uh, last night. Uh, they didn't really do too well at home. I think there was one game. Uh, he was the only person to score in the squad besides Suzuki. So, I mean, uh, it's all a matter of speculation. But Caulfield has always been to have the potential to be that 50-goal man that Montreal needed where he's not only a leader, he's a positive force uh, for the fans, for the players. And, uh, my God, the, the, the best is yet to come. 21 years old, he'll be 22 in early January. My God, ladies and gentlemen, watching this guy is just a pleasure. And see him so close in the net, and he's got kind of that snapshot style that kind of um, reminds a lot of people of, uh, you know, uh, uh, Marook or Gartner and stuff. You put him within 8 to 16 feet of the net with an open spot, he's going to put it through. But he's also gaining uh, respect from his peers in the league. The fact he's not a dirty player at this writing, he hasn't taken a penalty on the 2022-23 season, which of course is hard to do in Montreal because uh, look what's happened to Slakowski. He's been attacked almost every game. And uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, the, the, the other teams are not attacked and Caulfield like they should. Uh, I don't know if they just basically don't take him seriously or the, the figure he's too much of a nice guy to hit. But slakowski has been taking a lot of crap in recent games and he's given as good as he gets. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to do an update probably in this in March. And if he's at 35 to 40 goals in March, hmm, it's going to be interesting because it just takes a couple of hat-tricks. And with Stefan Riche, he was a 40-goal guy that scored 50 goals twice. Despite his, uh, you know, off-ice and mental health issues and his peccadillos, he, he reached that uh, that manner. But uh, don't forget, Steve Schott only had one, one season more than 50 goals. Uh, Jacques Lemire never scored 50. Cornway never scored 50. Frank Mahovlich never scored 50 with Montreal. Pete Mahovlich never scored 50 with Montreal. Keith Acton, who put up some uh, good numbers, and uh, Mark Napier never scored 40 goals for Montreal, neither Bobby Smith. So he's in Masla, in Matt Stanson territory right now. Can he get into the, the upper echelon? Time will tell. But ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the ride. And uh, it's a rough road trip. I think we've got nine games total on the road. So, uh, well, no surprise. Uh, uh, Team Canada, as we call them, are always on the road for uh, the holidays. Back in the day when Montreal was Stanley Cup contenders, they would Calgary, Winnipeg, Vancouver, Edmonton. It was kind of a weird thing. Every uh, There was two two hockey games that people, or hockey events, people would watch the World Juniors and Montreal on their West Coast swing. And Boys, that was good memories for a lot of fans. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing with our NHL podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget, if you're a Caulfield fan, <coughs> especially the United States, he's nearing the fact he will eventually become the best American player that the Montreal Canadiens ever had. Just a matter of time. But how far will he go? He's already made it to one Stanley Cup final. Don't be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, because you can't teach talent. Talent's natural. And Gretzky, when he started, took a few years to get rolling. Same thing with Brian Trotsche and Bossy. Uh, same thing, uh, you know, with the, the Detroit Red Wings players that got them there, including Steve Eiserman. And I think, 
I think there's a 50 in his future. Will it be 2022 to 23? Hard to tell. It could be sooner than later, but if he hits 50, can he score 60? I don't think so, but he's a, he's going to be consistent 35 to 45 goal a season score, but he could have that one open season that's going to give it to him. Thanks for listening. Bye.